Where do you live now? Well, I'll just say three. Well, this place will give you mental health problems. I never thought that I would be here like this. Yeah, everyone has a story to get here, right. and there is a way out. Where do you live? I live uh, here in uh, 5th and 45 south of San Pedro, uh -huh. in front of, uh, front of the, uh, the shelter. Um, I've been in a uh, mental house since I was a child, and I've been in foster care. I know nothing about my history. What's I'm, the mental health issue? I was a uh, right and um, I've been uh, I've been sexually abused, and I'm, I've been uh, violated all my life. Am I still and, seeing a little black eye up yeah, there? Yeah, what I've happened? Been, I got assaulted uh, three times in um, two months, and I. How do you get by now? Um, right now, I'm trying to get my mind stable. What, and, what's uh, what's your diagnosis? My diagnosis is uh, depression disorder and anxiety. How do you get by? How do you? Um, I'm surviving little by little. Come closer. Because How do you do it? I'm uh, surviving little by little. Struggling. Do you have to but prostitute yourself to get by? Pardon me? Do you have to I prostitute? used to back in the day. You're not yeah. doing it now though? No, sir. I have I've been I've been clean about going almost four months. Clean now. from um, drugs. What drug? I was using meth and uh, yeah. I was using marijuana. Do you, do you understand how the, the prostitution and the trauma kinda of go together? The, no, just... the prostitution started after when I got hit and transition out. No, but still, you understand you know, when you've been sexually abused you don't value your body so much, you know. No, I was in a black gown. I was mm. trying to survive yeah. eat and hide myself in the Keep street. Using. And, uh, What's your plan? My plan is to go forward. I will have a woman to how to give me a wheelchair. A guy dog, I got chromia. I'm diabetic. I got two insulin three times a day. So your vision, you can't see very well. No, sir. I got my eyes. I got injuries. Are they giving you housing? Um, I'm working on it. I've been um very emotional, but my son is fighting life. What about your son? He's fighting life. He's on death row. And um, he's on I, death row. Yes. For what? Uh, for for murder he didn't commit. And um, he's been in the system, he's been wired, and he never has a chance. Did, so, he have to, did he have to grow up on the street too? No, my son, I always had my son, and um, they were going to kill me in front of my son. The emotional thing is healing process. The vital thing mm -hmm. is uh, processing and moving on and going to grow. I need an apartment, I need a lot of things, a lot of things. You know, I, need well, I really appreciate you sharing your story with Thank us. You. Hope You're you welcome. get all those things. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Dad.